Hi everybody, thank you for joining me at Lori Houston Art. You are now seeing a bunch of leftover paints. I am going to create a sunset. I have taped my 20 by 20 canvas separating the sky and the ocean. I've shown you a few that I've done. I decided to video this one and um, I am just using a bunch of paints that I had to strain. Um, they are paints I've been using over and over on some of the sunsets. And I'm just now layering my cup in no random order. You know, we've got some gold, some peach, some uh, reddish pinks, and um, I am actually going to just um, flip them over here in a minute. Tonight is our Tuesday night train with Holly from The Morning Poor, Camille Amoy Art, and Nate Bray Art. If you haven't checked out their channels, please go back, take a look. They're amazing artists. And as I say every week, we could not do this without you. Your support, your comments, those of you that follow us, we are so, so gracious. And um, I know that I speak for all of us because we just are so humbled by um, everyone that continues to watch us on Tuesday nights. So I am now just flipping my cup over and creating the sky. And again, I decided to actually do a video on this one. And I was not going to um, put the video out because I'm still practicing this technique. But we went to a pop-up in Richmond, Virginia two or three weeks ago. And um, this was displayed. And believe it or not, this is the first painting that every single person went to. They didn't buy it, <laughs> but they loved it. There were so many people um, that just thought this painting was amazing. So I decided, well, maybe I'm getting a little bit better. So let's go ahead and, and put this one out there. And I am I have one that's drying now that I didn't video. I'm still working on the mountain range and, and different things, um, adding different things. But this was so much fun. And it really is... Um, really is pretty in person. I love it. Hi, everybody. Okay, our sky is dry. It looks beautiful. Okay, the next step is we are going to go ahead and lay down the water, the paints for the water. So I've been doing some straining. I am using leftover paints. You can see I've got a little bit here and a little bit here. And these that I just strained were just tiny dabs of paint I had left. And um, it was kind of a mishmash of three colors, not much paint. Um, these don't look like they need to be strained. So I'm just going in, I'm going to layer um, some of these paints. Um, I do want some depth of color um, in my ocean, so I'm just going through and um, oh, I haven't opened this one yet. That's a pretty blue. I think that was in my um, spa renovation video, so we want a little bit of that. And um, we're going to just do a, a ring pour. I'm going to use these since I let it dry right on here. And I'm going to take some Liquitex Iridescent White. And I'm going to just squirt it in the cup after I've layered it. Just no, just going to let it set in there. And then I'm also going to add some Vallejo. Um, iridescent medium. I'm squirted, I squirt it really um, strong so it goes down into the paint and not lay on top. I just want to have a little depth in my painting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just lay the water down, move it up, and I'm going to just Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind the 
Corners are covered. Sides. I love that water. Got lucky with that. It just looks beautiful. Pretty, pretty. All right, so we are now going to allow this water to dry. So I really don't have any idea what I'm doing. Um, you know, this is definitely an experiment for me. But I have um, Artist Loft Metallic Leaf Green. I have Porridge Posse's Maria Shimmering Spruce Metallic. I have Lucas, Lucas Krill Studio in, what is this? I don't know if I've used this color. I just like it. It is Silver Bronze. And then I have some golden um, carbon black. And what I've done is I've just actually added those four colors on my plate. And um, I'm, I am am going to take a little bit of golden, um, this soft gel, and I'm going to add that to my black because my black was a fluid paint. I do want it to have a little bit of consistency. And when you add this to the black, it has kind of a glossy, a little bit raised. I'm just mixing it in. This is probably way too much paint, but that's okay. Um, I'm just mixing the gloss gel in with the black and it makes it more of the consistency of the two paint. All right. So I am just going to start with my trees and hope that I don't mess everything up. I would think I would start with, um, I'm just gonna dab the three colors together, the greens, and I'm gonna start. Here we go. Outside my window Is everything paling cold? Seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clothes I know the sun will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be right Somehow I must be Somewhere the sky is blue Okay, so I am actually now making a sun using molding paste. And, um, you know, when you lift it up, it creates kind of a, a peak on the paste so that it gives it some texture. So I'm just going through and creating the sun, and then we're going to figure out the colors that we want to paint the sun. Hi, everybody. Okay. So I have now added um, the sun. I've put some yellow paint on it. It's not finished. I added a little bit of glue and actually put sand below the trees, right where my hand is. Um, I didn't realize that I wasn't videoing that part, but that's okay because this was a very long process, so I had to condense some of it. So the sun has some sort of weird paint drip in it and I just don't like it. I think it's too subtle. So I'm getting some more um, molding paste and I'm going to add a little bit more texture and more color to the sun. So we're just going to go ahead and apply um, more modeling paste or molding paste to the sun area and give it a little bit more height. I hope you're enjoying this video, and if you are, please give me a big ol' like. 
And I would love it if you would share this video on your other social media platforms. It really does help my channel grow. I am so grateful. Don't forget Camille Amoy is up next, then Nate Bright. And if you miss Holly, she was right before me. I am now just adding some color to the dried um, molding paste that I put on the sun. Going through and making sure that I pick the colors that are going to accent. The sky is extremely bright. Um, so I want to make sure that the yellow and the tones are correct um, in this application. So we are going to finish the sun. I'm adding a little bit of orange and I will see you at the end of creating this sunshine. See you there. Okay, I am now creating the edge for my waterline. I had applied the sand with a little bit of glue and now I'm just outlining it with a little bit of um, burnt umber or Van Dyke Brown, both of them mixed together. And I am adding a little bit of sea foam with the white. I keep picking it up because the lighting, I'm in a different area and I, I'm <laughs> holding the canvas close to make sure that I you know, not missing anything. And this is just creating some sort of um, depth at that shoreline, making sure that the water looks like it's coming in. I do want to mention that I also took a, um, I guess they're called pouncer brushes and added a few white clouds in there as well. But I love that water line. I think it turned out great. And here is the final result. I just love this piece. Um, I think from afar it just looks beautiful it's it's one of my favorite sunsets that i've done this is sunset forest i'm hoping to have several coming up in the near future let's go see camille at camille amoy art see you there